Are you ready to take an adventure? Snuggle in and take a deep breath. Once upon a time, in a quaint little village nestled between rolling hills and whispering forests, lived a curious and adventurous little girl named Lisa. With her sparkling blue eyes, freckled cheeks, and a mop of unruly golden curls, Lisa was the embodiment of childhood wonder. She was known throughout the village for her insatiable curiosity and her boundless imagination. Every day brought a new adventure, a new mystery to solve, and a new world to explore. One sunny morning, Lisa's heart danced with excitement as she tiptoed out of her house her tiny feet leaving delicate imprints on the dew-kissed grass. She had heard whispers of a traveling circus that was setting up camp on the outskirts of the village. The very thought of the circus filled her mind with visions of dazzling performers, majestic animals, and a world of magic waiting to be discovered. Lisa's heart raced as she ventured deeper into the woods, following the faint sounds of cheerful music that seemed to drift on the wind. She had always been an expert at following her instincts, and they led her straight to the entrance of the circus grounds. A colorful banner hung above her head announcing the arrival of Carnival of Wonders. Wide-eyed and breathless, Lisa stepped through the entrance, her senses instantly overwhelmed by a sounds of laughter, music, and the delicious aroma of popcorn and cotton candy. She felt like she had stepped into a dreamland, a place where anything was possible. Passing through the entrance, Lisa's senses were instantly dazzled by the sights and sounds that surrounded her. Performers painted in vibrant costumes pranced by, Laughter and the sounds of merriment echoed, and children darted about with cotton candy in hand. But what truly captured Lisa's attention was a majestic lion, its golden fur glinting in the sunlight. Her heart quickened at the sight of a massive, golden-maned lion lounging in a spacious cage adorned with intricate designs. As Lisa approached the enclosure, the lion's emerald eyes met hers, and she felt an inexplicable connection with the beast, as if an unspoken bond connection seemed to spark between them. The lion observed her with a mix of curiosity and calmness. Gathering her courage, Lisa approached the cage, her heart pounding in anticipation. She extended her small hand, to her amazement, the lion nuzzled against her palm as the lion gave a rumbling purr, its warm breath caressing her palm. A sense of exhilaration coursed through her veins, a mixture of awe and exhilaration at being so close to such a magnificent creature. Hello there, Lisa whispered, her voice a gentle melody that seemed to bridge the gap between human and beast. The lion's eyes locked onto hers, a silent exchange passing between them. Lisa felt a surge of determination. She wanted to play a game with this majestic creature, a game that would transcend barriers and weave a tale of friendship. As if sensing her intentions, the lion rose from its resting position and began to move with a fluid grace that mesmerized Lisa. Its body circled the enclosure, eyes never leaving Lisa's gaze. A grin of sheer delight spread across her face as an idea took root in her mind. Stepping back a few paces, Lisa imitated the lion's movements, her arms raised in a playful imitation of its regal stance. The lion responded with a rumbling purr, its approval evident in the way its tail flicked back and forth. Thus began a dance of mimicry. Lisa would raise her arms, and the lion would follow suit, its powerful limbs mimicking her movements. 
She would twirl and the lion would pivot elegantly on its massive paws. Laughter bubbled from Lisa's lips as she danced with her newfound friend, their steps blending into a harmonious rhythm. Time seemed to stand still as Lisa and the lion continued their dance, their hearts in sync with the cadence of their movements. The circus goers watched in awe, captivated by the enchanting spectacle before them. It was as if the very fabric of reality had shifted, allowing a young girl and a magnificent beast to share a moment of pure magic. Lisa and the lion brought their dance to a graceful conclusion. With a final twirl and a flourish of movement, they both stood still, chests heaving from the exhilaration of their game. The circus erupted into a chorus of cheers and applause, a testament to the extraordinary connection that had unfolded under the canvas of the big top. Lisa stepped away from the lion's enclosure, her heart still racing from the exhilaration of their dance. She felt a sense of fulfillment, a realization that true friendship could transcend even the most improbable of circumstances. The lion regarded her with a gaze that spoke volumes, a silent promise that their dance was not the end, but the beginning of a beautiful connection. As Lisa's began to wander, her attention was drawn to the distant sound of honking horns and playful chatter. Following the joyful sound, she wandered to the outskirts of the circus, gazing around in awe Lisa spotted a group of clowns who were engaged in a spirited game of tag. Their faces were adorned with paint in vibrant hues, and their oversized shoes and colorful costumes added an extra touch of whimsy to their antics. Lisa couldn't help but giggle as she watched them darting and tumbling around, their laughter contagious and their energy infectious. One particular clown with a shock of fiery red hair and a polka-dotted jumpsuit caught sight of Lisa's expression. With a mischievous grin, he beckoned her closer, his eyes twinkling with invitation. Lisa's heart raced with a mix of excitement and nervousness as she approached the lively group. Hey there, little miss. Would you like to join us in a game of circus tag? the clown exclaimed, his voice warm and inviting. Lisa's eyes widened, her heart leaping with joy at the prospect of playing a game with the whimsical clowns. With a shy nod and a beaming smile, she eagerly accepted the invitation. The rules of the game were simple, yet filled with laughter. The clowns explained that the goal was to tag one another while navigating through a labyrinth of colorful hoops and obstacles. The catch was that the hoops were continuously moved around, creating an ever-shifting maze that required quick thinking and nimble feet. As the game began, Lisa's heart raced with anticipation. She followed the lead of her newfound clown friends a small frame darting through hoops and leaping over obstacles with the grace of a dancer. The clown's infectious laughter echoed around her, creating a symphony of joy that filled her heart to the brim. Lisa's laughter mixed with the clowns as they chased each other, their painted faces glowing with excitement. She felt a sense of camaraderie and belonging that she had never experienced before. In the midst of the game, Lisa's initial shyness melted away, replaced by a newfound confidence and a radiant smile. The game of circus tag continued, each moment becoming a treasured memory etched in Lisa's heart. The clowns taught her that laughter was a language that transcended words, a bridge that connected souls and created bonds of friendship that knew no bounds. Hours passed in a blur of laughter and play, as the clowns dressed Lisa in goofy clothing and painted her face with the colors of the clowns. 
As the game drew to a close, Lisa found herself surrounded by a circle of clowns, their hands resting on each other's shoulders. A clown, the one who had first invited her to play, stepped forward and presented her with a small bouquet of brightly colored flowers. We may be clowns, but we always recognize a true friend when we see one, he said with a warm smile. Remember, little miss, that no matter where life takes you, there will always be a place for you under the circus tent. Touched by his words, Lisa felt tears pricking at the corners of her eyes. She clutched the bouquet tightly, her heart overflowing with gratitude for the unforgettable experience she had shared with the clowns. The clowns taught Lisa that laughter was a universal language, a bridge that connected people from all walks of life. The memory of the circus game with the clowns would forever be etched in her heart, a reminder that the bonds of friendship and the power of laughter could transform even the simplest moments into something extraordinary. However, the circus held more wonders to be explored. Lisa walked to the heart of the circus and into a big grand tent. Her senses were immediately greeted by a kaleidoscope of colors, the tantalizing aroma of popcorn and sweet treats, and the rhythmic beat of drums that seemed to match the rhythm of her own heart. Her eyes widened as she gazed in awe at a group of graceful acrobats, their bodies soaring through the air with breathtaking elegance. Their bodies moved with an effortless grace twirling and spinning through the air as if defying the very laws of gravity. Lisa's heart swelled with admiration as she watched them, her eyes reflecting the awe that their performance inspired. The leader of the acrobats, a woman with radiant silver hair, caught sight of Lisa's entranced expression. With a warm smile, she beckoned Lisa forward, her graceful gestures inviting her to join the enchanting world of the circus. Welcome, young one. Would you like to play a game of aerial tag with us? The acrobat asked, her voice as melodious as a songbird's. Lisa's heart leaped with joy at the prospect of participating in such a thrilling game. With an eager nod and a radiant smile, she accepted the invitation. Her excitement grew with every step she took. The rules of the game were as intricate as the acrobat's graceful performances. Lisa learned that the goal was to navigate a series of suspended rings and trapeze swings while attempting to tag her fellow acrobats. The challenge lay not only in the acrobatic feats themselves, but in the art of moving through the air with precision and fluidity much like a dance. With the guidance of the acrobats, Lisa donned a costume that matched their elegant attire. She felt a sense of kinship as she joined their ranks, her heart pounding with a mixture of exhilaration and nerves. As the game began, Lisa's spirit soared, and she soon found herself suspended high in the big top her body moving in harmony with the currents of the wind. With each graceful twist and turn, Lisa discovered a newfound sense of freedom and empowerment. She marveled at the sensation of weightlessness, her heart racing as she swung through the air with the acrobats by her side. Laughter and shouts of delight filled the tent, creating a symphony of joy that echoed in the hearts of all who watched the breathtaking spectacle. As the game unfolded, Lisa's connection with the acrobats deepened. They shared laughter, encouragement, and a profound sense of camaraderie as they soared through the air together. The silver-haired acrobat in particular became a mentor and friend to Lisa, guiding her through the intricate maneuvers with grace and patience. As the sun began its descent and the tent was bathed in the warm hues of twilight, the game drew to a close. 
The acrobats gathered in a circle, their hands linked in a gesture of unity. With a smile that held the wisdom of the ages, the silver-haired acrobat approached Lisa and presented her with a delicate silver pendant in the shape of a trapeze. This pendant symbolizes the bond we've formed today, she said, her voice a soothing melody. Remember, Lisa, that the sky is not the limit. Your dreams can take you as high as the stars. Touched by her words, Lisa clutched the pendant tightly, her heart overflowing with gratitude for the unforgettable experience she had shared with the acrobats. As Lisa stepped out of the circus tent and into the cool evening air, she carried with her a sense of joy. The memory of her aerial adventure with the acrobats remained a cherished treasure, a testament to the power of perseverance, friendship, and the sheer joy of defying gravity. Under the twinkling stars and circus lights, Lisa reveled in the thrill of soaring through the air, her heart filled with a sense of accomplishment and freedom. She had discovered a hidden talent within herself, a gift that had blossomed under the guidance of the circus performers. Lisa knew it was getting late, but she noticed a tent with the words, The Magnificent Magician. Her curiosity couldn't be resisted as she wandered into the tent, noticing a show was about to begin. A hush fell over the tent as the spotlight illuminated a stage draped in velvet curtains. A tall figure emerged from behind the curtains, dressed in a cloak of midnight blue. This was Master Armand, the head magician of the circus. His eyes sparkled and his voice carried a hint of magic that resonated with everyone in the audience. Welcome, dear friends, to a world where the ordinary transforms into the extraordinary, Master Armand declared. Prepare to witness feats of wonder and illusions beyond your wildest dreams. Lisa leaned forward, her heart pounding with anticipation. She had always been captivated by magic, and now she was about to witness its mysteries up close. Master Armin began his performance with a flourish, conjuring cards that danced through the air and vanished into thin air, only to reappear moments later in the most unexpected places. Lisa's eyes widened in awe as she watched the cards vanish and reappear, her imagination running wild with possibilities. As the performance continued, Master Armand invited members of the audience to participate in his tricks. Lisa watched in amazement as a woman's ring vanished from her hand, only to be found moments later inside a sealed envelope that had been untouched. The gasps and applause from the crowd filled the tent, creating an atmosphere of pure wonder. Finally, as the end of the show approached, Master Armand turned his attention to Lisa. His eyes met hers and a smile tugged at the corners of his lips. And now, my young friend, I invite you to participate in a challenge of wits and magic, Master Armand announced, his voice carrying a touch of intrigue. Would you be willing to play a game of illusion and mystery? Lisa's heart raced with excitement as she nodded eagerly. Yes, I'd love to play. Master Armand gestured toward a small table adorned with an array of objects. A deck of cards, a silken scarf, a crystal goblet, and a top hat. Your challenge is to choose an object and create an illusion that will mystify and amaze. Lisa's eyes danced with anticipation as she surveyed the objects before her. She knew that this was her chance to experience the magic she had always admired from afar. With a determined smile, Lisa chose the crystal goblet. She held it in her hands, feeling its cool surface against her skin. She closed her eyes and focused, allowing her imagination to take flight. 
In her mind's eye, she envisioned the goblet filling with shimmering stars, their light twinkling and dancing like a ballet. When Lisa opened her eyes, the audience was met with a breathtaking sight. The crystal goblet, once empty, now glowed with a soft light. Inside, miniature stars swirled and sparkled, casting a mesmerizing glow that illuminated the entire tent. Gasps of astonishment echoed through the audience as they witnessed Lisa's magical creation. Master Armand's eyes shone with pride as he applauded Lisa's creativity and skill. Bravo, Lisa! Master Armand exclaimed, his voice filled with genuine admiration. You have woven an illusion that rivals even the most seasoned magicians. Your imagination is a beacon of enchantment. As Lisa basked in the applause and cheers of the audience, a sense of accomplishment and wonder filled her heart. She had stepped into a world of magic where the boundaries of reality blurred and the impossible became possible. Master Armand approached Lisa and extended a small ornate key. A key that glowed with the same otherworldly light as the goblet stars. My girl, you have not only played the game of illusion, but have also become a magician in your own right, Master Armand said, his voice a gentle whisper of secrets. This key is a symbol of your journey into the realm of magic. Treasure it, for it is a reminder that the power of imagination and wonder lies within us all. With the key in her hand and a heart filled with joy, Lisa bid farewell to the magician as she stepped out of the tent. Lisa had grown to love her new circus family, but as the night grew later, she knew that it was time to find her way back home. With a heavy heart, Lisa bid farewell to her circus companions, tears shimmering in her eyes as she embraced each performer in turn. They had become her mentors and friends, and the bond they shared would forever be etched in her heart. As Lisa journeyed back through the woods, her steps were guided by a mix of excitement and sadness. She looked forward to seeing her parents and sharing the incredible tales of her time with the circus and the extraordinary people she had met. The village came into view, its familiar sights and sounds enveloping her in a warm embrace. With each step, Lisa's heart raced, and as she approached her home, she spotted her parents anxiously waiting on the doorstep. She ran to them excitedly, wanting to tell them about her incredible journey. Her parents hugged her and softly scolded her for missing dinner, but couldn't wait to hear her story. Sitting at the kitchen table, Lisa began to eat her supper and share the adventures with her family. They were in awe as she described the adventures with the lion, acrobats, clowns, and magician. The story was filled with animated gestures, laughter, expressions of friendships and lessons she had learned. In the days that followed, Lisa put the ornate key she got from the magician and the silver pendant she got from the acrobats on a colorful string and wore it as a necklace. Her friends visited and she shared her tales of adventures under the circus tent and showed everyone the necklace she made. Her stories ignited a spark of wonder in their hearts. Lisa told them that the beauty can be found in the most unexpected places. As time went on, Lisa continued to cherish the memories of her time with the circus and carrying the lessons of courage, friendship and self-belief with her throughout her life. Whenever she missed her circus friends, she would wear the necklace with the key and pendant while she tried to recall each detail of the games and adventures she experienced. And so the story of Lisa, the little girl who went exploring and found herself under the circus tent, became a beloved legend in the village, 
a tale that would be passed down through generations as a reminder of the extraordinary adventures that await those who dare to follow their hearts and embrace the unknown.